Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. I'm sat in obviously front at Carwick steering wheel, <laughs> which is what you can see here. Um, and yeah, it's not the best of angles, but who cares? <laughs> so I'm back with a video. It is a B&M video, so it's just a little look around B&M at what they've got in there. But yeah, I've had one of them days. I've had a bit of a, not to do with school because I haven't actually spoke to him, but left voicemails and sent an email so i'm not very happy about caitlin being really poorly yesterday and nobody letting me know but yeah you know i were on the year one i won the room me about josh did his temperature and everything but when it comes to caitlin nobody does a temperature nobody checks just leave her so i picked her up last night and she was really poorly so yeah i've gone a bit nuts but i've been trying to cheer her up at home <laughs> she's been laughing at me doing my scottish accents i've got millie at home as well the with um my eldest at the minute she's watching them for me but yeah, um, oh, I've not slept. Dave said to me this morning, he says, Sam, I'm so tired. <laughs> and I says, oh, get over yourself, bloody hell. I fed her, I've been up. You immediately let me go to sleep because you were pretending to be Donald Trump. <laughs> Honestly, you had to be there, but it was just so funny because I'd put my phone with light on to give me some light when I was sorting Layla out. And I noticed out shadows on the ceiling. So then when I went like this for my hand, well, it was, oh, what was it? It was like that. It was something like this, right? It was something like that. I can't remember how I did it. It was like Donald Trump. <laughs> and I'm going, help, can you get me down? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it was just so funny. Like, <laughs> it looked like he had some hair. So then when Dave went, <laughs> I went like that with my fingers so hair went like that. Oh, he couldn't stop laughing. And it was about two o'clock in the morning. I know it's so bad. I mean, everybody is all right, like going to school, and but I think I've just gone a little bit delirious. I don't know where it is, and I, oh bloody, I was talking Scottish to kids this morning. I'm going, come on, Millie, here and there, get your wee bacon sandwich, and mommy, you're big and strong. <laughs> and kids were just like, Mom, what are you doing? I thought if I come on here, though, and I like, talking bloody scottish a lot of people why are up in because i know some of you are from glasgow that watch me and that are up in scotland i thought you'll be sat there like that like what the fuck's that silly old boat doing down there <laughs> thinking she's from scotland because a bloody minibus were from here <laughs> oh what about minibus <laughs> so, <laughs> and everybody feels sorry for her Bloody attention seeking coo! <laughs> I don't know what's up with me, I just can't stop laughing. This is what I mean, I just. I said, Am I ringing? Is that him snoring? <laughs> Little ones asleep. But yeah, poor minibus. <sighs> Silly wanker bitch. <laughs> You don't know, I'm in a chop shop within half an hour, them wankers taking it. <laughs> I'm in a bus. Oh, it's awful, isn't it? It probably was. It probably has just been bloody dismantled. I can't stop it, I'm sorry. Oh, hi, if you knew from Sullivan family as well, I meant to start off saying that. Oh, dear. <laughs> I bet um, it was so nice of him to mention me and to send me some love and that, but I thought, oh no, no, if people from their channel, but like, and I know some of you are, and because I've had some comments, and that is lovely, and that's what I want. I want my channel to grow and stuff like that. But they've got a lovely family channel, aren't they? And there's me who has got a potty mouth, and um, my channel's a bit all over. I've got 12 kids as well. Um, and obviously a minibus like you know ben said it but perfect last night to get a new one it is like rocking horse do da <laughs> so yeah i will like him i didn't swear that time <laughs> but um it is it is going to be so hard to get get one but i'm not going to go on about that because hopefully we will let i said to millie this morning she said mum will we get another um minibus and i said well hopefully <laughs> i says yeah i said we will sort it we're not going to worry about that now and then it's like my final payment for Lucas's car seat. We're going to go out because I did it on one of them clear pay things. You know, where you can pay it, spread the cost. And then um, that's gone out like to the minibus there. And every time I see one, I'm like, is that mine? I know somebody, I've had a few people send me messages of like dumped stuff. So like prams dumped and, um, you know, like insides of people's cars that have been pinched. But they've not been ours as yet. Um, and obviously I've had, I had a message about, um, is it Huntingtonshire or something? A real place, I thought, is that a real place? I've never heard of that before. 
but they there were mini buses that had been stolen on back but we know it's not ours because you can see in the back of it because obviously the colour don't matter because they can spray paint it if they're going to do stuff like that but the, the I think anyway I don't, know, I don't know but it were a dark picture but you could see on the bottom of it have sensors and ours didn't have sensors that's one of the things that it, it, all minibuses should have but ours didn't so you just have to like put your head out window and <laughs> hope nobody were there but i am missing that it's a b&m <laughs> not to b&m we've got um a little bit of a haul going on <laughs> um it's a haul that i filmed in the shop so yeah, if that even makes sense, it's a haul of... God, it's not in here. You know, I've stalled car. I haven't stalled this car yet. And for some reason, I stalled it today. I think my brain's just not working properly. So... Come on, that again. Oh, yeah, B&M. Right, so went to... Um... B and M. I've got a haul from what's in there, but I haven't filmed a separate haul. I'm just going to show you bits that are in trouble. I have bought quite a few bits already, but I need to just be putting aside. I mean, all the kids. So, so I've got Daniel needing trainers, Jacob needs new football boots and school shoes. Millie needs new trainers. She only bought some not long ago, but because she plays so much football, she's ruined them. Um, who else needs stuff? I can't remember, but there's quite a few of them that need new bits and obviously we can't all go places anymore as a family to go get them i can only take one of them at a time i've got a seven seater but because of the car seats that are in it you know layla's does come out but lucas's is fixed i can't be taking that in and out every two minutes and then um, obviously taking i have to bring them to anyway so there's only like the two in the boot which are quite small and then the, this one in the middle and then one here but it's just the hassle, the hassle of doing it all. But yeah, it's um, it's one of them things. It's happened with with Van, but it just makes life that bit harder. Because in fact, it's me and Dave together on a weekend. Then you've got the two kids either side, and then you can only take like three others. But obviously, I've got Millie, I've got Josh, I've got Aaron, and then Daniel might be one that wants the trainers, and and Jacob because a lot of times he is he is out with his mates. Is Jacob? He is a bit of a kid that just loves to be out. Um. And Caitlin as well, they all want to go places and then my older ones, Ryan loves his Abbey Craft, Ryan loves it and we can't just say, right, well we all want to go to these different shops, why don't we go to York and then you can go there, you can go there, you can go there, we'll get some in your and it just be that simple anymore. And it and it will, it will hopefully it will sort it out and we'll get you know, like I said to you, it's it is just a van, isn't it? But it, it's because we're going through this because of what somebody else has done to us. It's not because like the minibus were you know, is no good and now we haven't got one anymore or something. That minibus that wanna break in it, it were it were one damn good vehicle and I can't bear far thinking about what they've done to it. But who knows, the police still may come through for us. It may come back. Um, don't know. Layla's in fact, you might be aware of she's actually poorly. She, she's been in bed with me all night. She's bloody, you know, I've had to use aspirator thing and be sucking all snot out of her nose. I know it sounds gross, but you do these things, don't you? You don't, you don't go near your mouth. Well, it kind of did, because I didn't know I had it wrong way around. <laughs> but you like, it's like a tube and you've got like a little suction thing and a filter and you like suck on one, one bit and then um it takes all crap out of the nose because she's just she, she's not well she has slept but if i put her in her bed she wouldn't have slept she's only slept because she's got warm for me i can't bear it for putting her inside of me and i've been cold because wind is not far down and it just drops temperatures on it but yeah lucas is starting with it layla's got it daniel's at home with it millie's got it caitlin is absolutely packed with it i'm waiting for the school to ring because i probably think i'm a right and but i just said to him you know if I ain't got trust in school to let me know where my kids are, well, we've got a problem, haven't we? And it's true, we have, and they are a good school, so I don't want to bring school down. But it's just things like this that, that do let it down. And we had this before, summer holidays with Caitlin as well. I just feel like she's a bit not listened to at school for some reason, I don't know why. But I put that in an email, so hopefully we'll get an answer. <laughs> right, I'll leave you with B&M. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to really tr keep trying going with my channel. Keep trying to do these videos and um, and just doing what I can for my family, for my channel. I want it to grow. I need to stop like, being like, I don't know. <laughs> I need to stop the language. I can't help it. Obviously, we've been through a massive trauma with losing the van. Um, but let's just hope it's a massive learning curve that 
we have our security tighter we're gonna we've already started doing things and um when we when we get another one hope, hopefully <laughs> um they don't do this to us again but we'll see <laughs> don't want to think about it but anyway hope you enjoy it and i'll see you at the next one So as you can see I've got some more snacky bits but Dave did see these for Shane and he absolutely loved them so Shane loves his own comforts, he loves to be all snuggly and we'll even get winter stuff out Dave will like or we'll get these for our Shane, he'll, he'll love them and um, I was a bit like oh well, should we wait because he's got his snuddy and stuff but then he's like no no we'll get them and you know I'm so glad he did because Shane absolutely loved those, he slept in them last night bless him. They had a lot of summer sandals on sale, so we got Millie some little jelly ones and Caitlin those sliders, and they were only £2 each. Dave spotted this and they were like, we should get this for Christmas, but I'm like, I could do with something like that every night, but then it's work top space, I don't have loads of work top space, and I get right annoyed trying to play everybody's dinner out when you've got kettles and stuff. Oh, look at them, have you seen these? First Archer. <laughs> for animals, for your pets, I don't, look at that, how close they are, Furberry in the Burberry print that's just crazy that isn't it but they are so good I like the facade I like them both actually I have of course got Chad Cat living with us at the minute well he's not full time living with us or oh, Dave found that one look what is it Terry's Choo Choo Orange and Waggly Street <laughs> but yeah Chad Cat is a stray cat he's always been round our, our way but since the minibus is gone, it won't leave me out at all. I've had to buy my pet bowl and food and flee him again. Or I like that for one of kids for Christmas, but I don't know which one I would like it, but it's a little gaming fridge. They always go mad when they put pop it fridge and somebody pinches it. It'd be good to have them to have their own. I liked that, but I have already got like the garland and you can just stick your own lights and baubles on that really, can't you? Because that's 25 quid. They had lots of lovely blankets and Christmas bedding coming out. This aisle were a bit like it wasn't fully stocked yet i've not got it all out but i tried to show you some bits of what i could the bedding in there was so nice in fact we did get aaron the bed sheets they're not like a bed cover like a quilt cover like a bed sheet a fluffy one because it's terrible on a night for you know not wearing out when he goes to bed half at the time and um then he'll get cold for up night so again dave will like we'll get aaron one of these fluffy bed ones because you know it'll be at least we know he's warm fruit now because it is starting to get really cold so we've got aaron one of those i think it's about eight pound i went for the thorny color is that what it is like that brownie colored one it were eight pound for a single size but i'll probably get josh one and stuff but josh will have his like fluffy pajamas on and stuff whereas aaron won't wear them so we just thought that well, Dave did. He thought it were, um, would be good for him. So I picked up that one. We did forget the push chair and one sock. <laughs> Poor little Layla's little foot was sticking out. Uh, I was going to buy her some just to put on her feet in there, but they had no baby socks in B&M. And Lucas is already eating Chris as we're going round. It's all over his face, whatever he's had. Loads of stuff were on sale. And tons on sale in there. I see my legs looking thing and me. My converse I practically live in these pumps at the minute I'm just always throwing them on my feet but yeah they had um lots of lovely beddings coming in for winter I absolutely love that white cable knit one I thought that was stunning I thought it was so nice it looked and it looks so cozy in that but obviously hopefully by Christmas we'll have a sofa bed downstairs because with this happening with Van not to keep going on about it but it's just made me feel so super paranoid I'd rather always have a sleep at living room and the kids all have 
both floors upstairs so obviously they've got the loft and they've got the first one just they've got more room then because it's not fair in them when they're a bit because i've got three boys in, in a room that's a bit smaller than mine so we're going to put put them in there and then lucas can be in with them as well so yeah that's what we're going to do it's what you have to do when you have a big family and seven bedrooms just isn't enough <laughs> um but yeah, Christmas is coming. It's all coming into the shops. I know some of you aren't fussed for seeing it a minute. Some of you love to see it. I love to see it personally because I love to buy as soon as it comes out, just little bits. And it cheered me up a bit yesterday, I must admit, when we went in there. Bloody hell, I'm sat in a car park again and they have to go past, don't they? <laughs> the big loud engines. Oh, I love those cushions. Red stripey ones. Look at them. And Mum, if you're watching, do you like them? I bet you like the red and cream ones, don't you? I think they're lovely. I think they're really, really nice. Yeah, some fab bits coming out. Again, it won't all out. But what I did see, I was quite impressed with B&M. I thought there were some lovely, lovely bits. I'm still recording, I just I'm just looking at what's there. <laughs> there were gonks. There were gonks dancing there, look. It's like it's tap dancing, don't it? The Santa's at the bottom there. A few different sort of colours this year, I think. I don't remember seeing them anywhere like that last year. But then I can't really remember what BNM had, to be honest. In some ways, last year's Christmas feels ages ago, and in others it done. I mean, I just found out I was having Layla, I think, not long before Christmas. And I actually, oh, look, naughty elves. Oh, and them gonks there. I'm not one for gonks, but I did think they look good, the light up ones. But last Christmas, I started spotting over Christmas and obviously I knew I was pregnant. So it were really stressful for me and the kids didn't know. But I just were a bit on edge all Christmas day and everything. But it turned out, obviously, you know. But it were just scary. Oh, Lucas loved that. He did like that. Look, his little face, look. He's got chocolate all over it, but he's still so cute. <laughs> um, he did like that, so I might have to get that. I'm on about spending money, and I'm saying, oh, I'll have to buy that ball that sprays fake snow everywhere. <laughs> and there's a moose. a bit, this hiss. <laughs> Is it a moose, or do I just look at it? So he's looking at me in car park. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was nice to have a little look at it all. It did cheer me up. I don't know what it is about seeing Christmas stuff and Halloween stuff, but it right gets me on warm inside <laughs> there's your halloween i don't think i show too much of that because obviously i've already shown quite a bit but again to say halloween's next month it won't all out like there's a lot of space on shelves and stuff lucas did like looking at it but then i did have to spin him round and put in push chair in trolley a little bit um and he were laughing again like when i'm about spending money i've got that projector somewhere i'm sure i have i know i've got it i just don't know where i put it but um yeah, spending money. So we are really going to try now tighten our belts a lot. Obviously, like everybody, you've got bills coming out of your ears. We need to obviously replace the minibus, and our minibus insurance is going to obviously go really high. Oh, look at that projector. I did buy that, but I've not had it out of box yet. I know I've just said that about spending money, but I just got that to cheer Josh up because obviously he loves Halloween and he's he didn't go to school yesterday. But he's really struggling. Um, so I did get that, but that's kind of last halloween bits i'll get apart from paper plates and stuff and the costumes for who needs them they have got all these like little things but we're nowhere near like america are we when you watch them when they go around like halloween shops and that what's it called the halloween shop and he goes around it and looks at all the scary stuff and kids love watching him um but we don't have anything that good here but yeah there's going to be like a few holes and me just try to do what I can. Obviously the kids have got pack ups and it is constant but it's just the way it is, isn't it? I'm just going to try doing my best to just be a bit more mindful with what we're spending. Um, but I did have to get a few bits yesterday. And yeah. Right guys, it's much later now. <laughs> um, them salad something in case change, right quickie. Alright, I'm just doing my video though. Right. Oh, <laughs> It would pretend to be Ian then off, uh, what is it called Dave? Help me out is on it. I love that guy. I think he's ace on that. We're always doing it. We're always pretending to be Ian. <laughs> Barry, I see a ghost. You go sort it out. <laughs> right guys, I just wanted to nip back on because it ended that footage before I managed to finish it off properly. I'm next to Lucas here and I've got Layla. Yeah. I'm recording this on Dave's phone because mine's just gone flat. We're squashed, aren't we? 
squashed in between these like i've got two seats but the shopping's in me i've got my son in the front how hard it is without my van <laughs> it would help if i stopped you know eating so many takeaways and shite wouldn't it it's your fault that never cut me out Have you got enough? All right, we're going backwards. We're going backwards. We're all right. Right. Um, I just wanted to say thank you as well um, to end my video for all your your love and your comments and your understanding as well of you know just listening to me go on because I am I don't want to keep going on about it but then I can't not mention it because it's just all I can think about at minute is what's happened. So Dave's just driving us home. We're okay, aren't we, Dave? Plodding on. Aren't we? Yeah. No, What's this car doing? Why is everybody so spicy? There's so much traffic. There's a fucking, like, stupid cable thing up there. Alright. Oh, is this what I mean? It's like they're doing all this high fibre or whatever. And all this uh, high speed broadband. Yeah. So we're down there. It's up there now. So I wonder if we're going to eventually get it. I don't know. It'd be nice though, wouldn't it? Because our Wi Fi is shockingly Probably. rubbish. I'm really sorry. I'm so slow. So I spent an hour and a half ish last night trying to go through comments when we've got kids to bed. But obviously, there's so many on there. I don't just want to hurt them. I'm trying to get back to you all, but I don't. And they'll be thinking, oh, I've answered one and, and I've not answered yours or something like that. Not that I think anybody's that bothered, but you know, you all mean a lot and every comment means a lot. And I have read most of them. I've not read them all, um, ones from today as yet but i have read a lot of the comments and they're all just so supportive and that's like what i said to kids you know it may have been like the bad people that took the minibus but go look at all them lovely comments from so many people out there that are supporting us that are just just so kind out the dave yeah you know these sort of things really grateful for them all yeah these sort of things don't just affect like us and things it's everybody in it because everybody's insurance like where we are you know for every vehicle that gets taken and every payout that has to come from insurance and stuff that puts everybody's insurance up when it comes to renewal and as i dread to think on a new minibus what it would actually be we haven't got any news from insurance company as yet and the key will be posted today it's going record delivery today that makes me feel so sad because we should just be having that key on as keys in house and you know right it's many bus key where have you put it because <laughs> we only had one <laughs> and um you know that vehicle should still be on our driveway and it's awful driving past the driver i know it sounds so stupid it's awful driving past it and it's empty because i won't put this car on it because when we did uh one of my sons didn't go to bed he sat up all night watching driveway from his window he kept thinking they were going to come back but it's just so rubbish but right I won't keep you. Thanks for watching. It means a lot. And I will keep going and trying the channel. And I'll see you hopefully tomorrow with next one, which I've got no idea what it's going to be. <laughs> I'll see you then, guys. Bye.